Welcome, welcome, welcome to the podcast. It's Mr. Ish. We're here at Kiss Bay Boys and Girls Club, Cordea Clubhouse, season number six, 10,000 plus. That's the way we're doing it now. 2022. I'd like to thank everyone that's out there listening to the podcast. I appreciate you. And I look at my ratings all the time. Um, let's start off from my left to my right. Let's introduce ourselves. Just give me your name and your age. And uh, we'll start the podcast right there. Yes, sir. My name is Dyer, and I'm 10. Okay, Dyer. Welcome to the podcast. Hola, soy Oliver, y no English. Uh, he, he speaks English. Oliver, if you start going in Spanish, this is going to be a SAP podcast. He's pushing it, baby. Next. What do you mean, bro? My name is Work. Your name is Work? Mark. Oh, I thought you said your name is Work. I was going to say that name is powerful. Uh, your name is Work. And the name Mark. is Mark. <laughs> and your age? Nine. Nine years old. Your first day here? And me and him are no. best Yo, by the way. Hold up a second. I'm talking to the no. gentleman. You, this is the first time in podcast? No. You been here before? Yes. Okay. I don't recognize you. Maybe because you had a different mask on. Um, welcome to the podcast, guys. Today's topic is something that uh, is sorry that we have to deal with, but is the reality of, of our world. Um, In life. Okay. You want to tell them the... The, the, the topic? Your topic. Yeah. Today we're going to be talking about world hunger. World hunger. Not only just world hunger. I mean, what do you know about world hunger and stuff like that? Like but let's, let's, let's see is if, if as a group or maybe just this, this small group, we could come up with some solutions that we think that could be helpful. Well, um, let's talk about world hunger first. What do you know about world hunger? Well, I know that like, um, I know like, like most of it like is in Africa because like, you know, like the Africans like have to hunt for food and most of the kids have to suffer from world hunger because, you know, there, not, there may not be enough food for them, you know, cause, cause that's something you do like, um, well, well her world hunger, it's it's obviously throughout the whole world. I mean, th there's, the there's world. places, you, you may say Africa because they're kind of more secluded in places and they have different tribes and different places and stuff like that. But um, it, it's happening in New York. It's happening, you know, in Japan. It's happening in a lot of, you know, a lot of places throughout the world. So it's not just... Even DR? Uh, yeah, it's hunger in DR. Haiti. I mean, when these natural when these natural uh, uh, things happen, these earthquakes and these mudslides and all that stuff, that affects you know people eating. That affects all that stuff. So world hunger is is hmm. all over the place. It's actually depressing. Um, Mark, what, what do you have to say there? World hunger is not a, only about people's about animals too. You know what? Boom! I'll give you the bomb on that one because yes. It, you know the you guys ever talked about the what is it that the the, the pyramid, yeah. the pyramid of Egypt. No, the pyramid of Egypt. I'm talking about the. Oh. Uh, I forgot what's the name of it. The, we learned it in science, but um, when he says animals, there's diff the food chain. There's different oh. animals. If if uh you know, if a lion can't hunt it, you know can't hunt for deer. Then you know there's there's certain things that happen. Everything affects it's what everything they do to else. Like survive. It's what they yeah, do everything to everything affects. If there's no water and there's droughts, guess what happens to the fish in the lakes? They die. That means that we don't go fishing, or that means that the crocodiles don't eat fish, and then whatever eats the the fish and eats the those little uh, uh, flies and all these other insects that are in there. It all it all it all. Uh, it all is one one big family. I mean, if 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 it affects the animals, it's, it's going to affect us. So yeah, that's a nice angle. We've never taken an angle on you know animals and stuff like that. Um, what about you? What do you think or you know about world hunger? A lot of people waste food over just doing yeah. stupid stuff. Like I was going on TikTok the other day, and this man wasted five gallons of milk and like six gallons of chocolate syrup. And didn't drink it. Oh, oh. wow! Okay, so so how how do you see us God. helping or doing something to to affect world hunger? I can tell you right now what gets me upset, and, and this is just because of school and stuff like that. In school, we give people um, school lunch, right? Do you guys eat school lunch? Yeah, yeah sometimes. Okay, sometimes. sometimes. Um, what happens with the school lunch after you guys don't eat it is that there's probably be about 200 servings of food that are just thrown away. True. Yeah, that is true. Because you'd be like, I'm not eating that. I'm not eating schoolies. 
No, it's not what kids call it in my high school. They call it schoolies. I'm not eating schoolies. But when schoolies has a hamburger with pickles, they eat it. I when love schoolies, pickles. When schoolies has a pizza, they go eat it. When we have cookies, they take the lunch. So that if you were really hungry, you just eat the food. I didn't have a choice. I don't know if Mr. Andrew had a choice. When I was in school, I ate school lunch. I didn't, I didn't have a choice of, of me bringing, you know, lunch to school. I didn't have that choice. I didn't have a bag of Takis. I didn't have patelitos. I ate school lunch, Ooh. period. School breakfast and school lunch. Make sure you got your ticket. Make sure nobody take your lunch ticket from you. Tell, tell the lady from the, be nice to the lunch lady. Maybe she give you extra vegetables or, or something. Like that. Come on, you always had P, P and J. Always had that. Sometimes even had a good tuna fish sandwich too. I don't like tuna. Me too. Um, yeah, I mean, so so we didn't have choices. You guys have more choices, but but I see a lot of uh, maybe not as much here because um, we're very limited in the kids and we kind of go by 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 your how many people are in here. But even even that, you know, if there's twelve people, twelve lunches or dinners that we give you guys and you don't eat it, it's kind of a waste also. We can't give it to somebody else. We don't know if someone's going to pick it up. Um, so, so, so we waste a lot of food, and that is true. And yeah. I say, I say, we are just Americans. I yeah. mean, I'm sure that you go in your refrigerator. You say, I'm going to save these two pork chops, and then those two pork chops are in your refrigerator for eight days, and you'd be like, I'm going to throw this out. That could have been two pork chops somebody ate. You understand? So, so we waste a lot of food. We do. Um, so that could be one thing. Just don't waste a lot of food. Make enough to eat or make enough for your family or or so forth and so on so we need to we need to get back into that or i also have another thing we can do like what could we do like in the food that's like um like like we look into our fridge and we see the food that we don't like we give it like um to like homeless people on the street um i did that once it was it, it felt pretty good i mean that feels i mean giving to anybody feels great Mark, you have any solution to this uh, food hunger? Yes. Um, what do you think? Uh, I feel like we should stop hunting animals because when we hunt animals, other animals eat them. But if we're going to keep on hunting them, the other animals are not going to have anything to eat. Um, uh, do, do, do you eat any animals? You eat chicken? Yes. Okay. Same. Pork chops? Yes. What's pork? Pork chops? Yeah, we, we never tried it. No, you don't eat any pork? We never tried it. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Mark right now. Uh, Mark, okay. Uh, beef and broccoli? Hello. Uh, shrimp fried rice? Hmm? What? Shrimp fried rice? A little egg roll? None of that stuff? Yeah. Okay, well, it, so far, the only thing you eat is chicken. Um, That's an animal. So... Uh, you saying you saying not to eat these animals, but you know you still eating animals. So you're saying we should go vegan? I mean, a lot of people are now going into uh, plant based stuff. You know, like they have McDonald's has a, a hamburger made out of out of you know plant based. Burger King has one, Beyond Burgers. Um, a lot of the stuff, a lot of stuff tastes actually pretty good. Come on, um, even salad? Huh? Even salad? Yep. Yeah, they sell it. You could go and you could go to Burger King and get a Beyond Burger. Just tell them, let me get a Beyond Burger, or, and they'll give you a burger, isn't it? Cheese, lettuce, tomatoes on a bun, and onions. all the sauce, all that stuff. And it's just not meat, it's vegetables. But you won't taste it. It tastes just like a burger. I mean, they got chicken nuggets like that. They chicken got everything. Chicken nuggets? Yeah. They got I think, I think uh, K, KFC just got chicken nuggets, plant, plant-based plant uh, nuggets. I'm going to try those. Same. I mean, I ain't got a lot of you. I, I, eat, I eat me some animals, though. Can I, think, I do a shout out? I think me and Andrew did a podcast about eating animals, the things that we eat. You should listen to it because it was quite entertaining. Um, I, I I eat pork chops daily. Um, I like steak. Shout out uh, to steak, by the way. I just had five lobster tails last week. That was, <gasps> that was delicious. But um, with what sauce with what sauce? Oh, no, I just put hot sauce. That was it. Shout out so, to red hot hot sauce. So, so, I, so I, do, I, <laughs> I do eat hot sauce. Huh? I eat crab. You eat crab? I okay. never tried it before. But here it's so, good. So, we, you know, we do eat animals, but I think that the, the, the main thing is that we need to just find a way to to eat, to to waste less food. That's, that's not the eating part. It's the wasting of the food. Like, you know, we just waste a lot of food. Um, so let's try doing that. And I think giving to, to other people, you know, like if you're in an apartment building 
and you cook extra soup, you can knock on your neighbor's door and be like, hey, you want a bowl of soup? Don't throw it away. Just like give it. it to a neighbor or something like that. You can't take a bowl of soup downstairs and give it to somebody who's in the street. But, I mean, you could give it to somebody else. If there's an elderly person that you know, maybe you'd be like, hey, I'm making soup today. You know, I'm going to give you a bowl. And, um, you know, just make that day. We could do that. Mm-mm. Any other solutions you think we have for this world mm. hunger? Well, like, you know, like those websites, like, um, you donate to the poor people. Uh-huh. I think more people should start doing that and stop, like, skipping all the ads. Because think of the people. Like, not only just, like, for world hunger, uh-huh. like, for, like, any type of can- cancer, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, but you know what, Oliver? I'm going to be realistic about that. I- there is so many things to give to that by the time you finish watching TV or getting off the Internet, you'll be broke. Because you, you got to give to the St. Jude for kids. Oh, yeah, I got to give to the kids. Oh, you got to give to cancer relief. Oh, yeah, cancer. Oh, you got to give to people who age. Like, oh, yeah, I'm age, man. What's age? And, and then you got to give people Alzheimer's. I'll be like, yeah, my grandma's getting old, Alzheimer's. And then you got to give to people, the veterans. Oh, yeah, they fought for our country. I give to them. And all of a sudden, you know, you got $12 and you're giving a dollar to each of these people. You, you, you're broke. How about giving to the, the fund of Ishmael? Uh, you know, the, the, the fund of Oliver, the fund of, uh, of uh, you know. So, so, yes, I understand giving, but... There's times that, you know, you may not have enough to give. So so you have to be realistic about that. Um, you know, if you want to do a little canned goods and, and we could start a little drive and maybe take some cans to a homeless shelter, that's great. We could all do that. We, about, we got about 15 kids here. Everybody bring a can of something. Whatever you don't like that's in the back of the cabinet, put it in a box and we give it to some, you know, to some charity. You could start. I'm not saying this. It's going to feed somebody. It's going to feed some people. You know, if you don't like beets, put those beets cans in there. If you don't like the, the green bean can that you got in the back, bring that over here. What about tuna? I love tuna, so don't bring no tuna because I may bust that down. Damn. I mean, I mean, my God. Um, p- pasta, all that stuff. <gasps> Sardines. Ooh. Ew. Spam. You don't like spam? Ooh. I never tried that. Spam is wonderful. Um, so, you know, things like that. So we could, we could do things. Even as young as we are, we could do things. Um, corned beef. If you bring corned beef, I'm making white rice or getting it from the Chinese spot. Okay. Um, anything else you guys want to say? Add to it. Um, shout out to vegans. Shout out to shout vegans. out to the vegans, man. Shout out to my boy George Bush. He's a vegan. Anybody else? All right, we're out of here, guys. And shout out from and shout out for and shout out. Pixar. Check 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 one two one two check 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 check. check, check. Shout out to all the vegans. We're out of here.